not known as a, dun a dunker Jenna, as known as a jump shooter from that so, spot. So when he dunks, that's Look why the bench. the bench was in an uproar. Yeah, and they right. didn't know he could still do it. Yeah. Eagles oh, news ooh. now, and head coach Doug Peterson confirmed what we all feared. Carson Wentz is indeed out for the season with a torn ACL. As a result, the Eagles, once the outs on favor to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl, have now dropped to 12-1 to 1 odds to win the Super Bowl behind the Patriots, the Steelers, the Vikings, and the Saints. Here's Eagles head coach Doug Peterson. The reason we went out and got Nick Foles is for reasons like this and for situations like this. And uh, um, I'm excited for Nick, obviously. I hate it for Carson Wentz. I hate it for uh, um, the career the uh, or the season, I guess, that he's he's been having. Um, but at the same time, it's it's been the next man up mentality, and, and that's that's how we approach it this week. You know, Nick, some would say that, that Nick Foles is probably one of the best backup quarterbacks in the league right now. So if mm -hmm. this was going to happen, if there's a situation, you know, this is the one for Nick Foles to jump in. But what do the Eagles have to do to really overcome the loss of Wentz here? To, to be able to still make or win the Super Bowl, there's nothing they can do. The, you, he, well, good Lord. Well, let's just have a funeral for no, the people. Well, <laughs> no, I, here's, here, here's the thing. I try, to, I try to look at things sometimes to a fault. From a logical perspective, sorry that I missed your your funeral music. No, there. they asked me my head, uh, and of and course. And so the so here's ear. so here's the thing. If you believe that Carson Wentz was one of the leading MVP candidates, and you also believe that the Eagles still can be a Super Bowl contending team, then I feel like you have to have believed that with Wentz. They were just going to run roughshod over everybody. If without an MVP, they can still go to the Super Bowl. Then if they had the MVP, then they're, they're, they're the 07 Pats as far as favorites going into the, the, into the playoffs. They're just clearly better than everybody. I didn't think they were dominant favorites going, going into it. I thought it was a team that was a good team with some flaws mm -hmm. that their amazing quarterback was covering up. And if, even if you replace him, forget one of the best backups. Replace him with Andy Dalton. Replace him with an average NFL starter. To me, that's no longer a Super Bowl team in Philadelphia. Well, this is the problem I think you have with your theory, is that we've already played 13 games. It's not as if we have to play the whole season. It's not like Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater last season where they had to trade for Sam Bradford. They got 11 wins, bro, in the back pocket. They got the best record in pro football. They only need two more wins to be the one or the two seed. So me, my optimism is based on they have to be the one or two seed. And it just happens to be a very, very odd year that potentially the number one or two seed, they're playing with the backup quarterback in Case Keenum. And if the Vikings because I, I, really, I believe that the Vikings are the only team in the NFC that can be the one or the two besides the Eagles. So if that is the case, do I believe that Nick Foles can beat the Vikings, the Saints, the Panthers, the Rams in Philadelphia? I, I believe this. And the reason why is because I've seen him play enough football. Now, there's people out there that doubt Nick Foles. But those are the people that must have watched all the video when he played with Jeff Fisher as a quarterback. <laughs> now, the only quarterback that's been good with Jeff Fisher is, God rest his soul, Steve McNair. The rest of the quarterback, just look at him. Look at last year's top pick, Jared Goff, under Jeff Fisher. We had already put the bus label on him. I mean, the coach, McVay, saved his career. Right. That was Jeff Fisher. Look at all the other quarterbacks under Jeff Fisher. Look at the Vikings back up. Case Keenum. The reason why, Jenna, why we were doubting him, you were like, I like Case Keenum. Put Case Keenum. Put, make him starter. Why they got him on a short leash? I preached it, Nick. Did you why, remember when I preached Why it? they got him on a short leash? Because we got all that video when he was the coach, when, he, when his coach was Jeff Fisher. Right. So now Nick Foles. People want to forget how successful he was, you know, in Philadelphia. Right. You know, Chip so Kelly, yep. under Chip Kelly's system, which Doug Peterson adopted a lot of Chip Kelly's system and kept it into place. So 
given that this is a very odd year, given that I don't think Dallas or in Dak, I don't think Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, no, those teams aren't going to be there. This is the year that you can have a backup, and I believe that the Eagles would be able to pull that off. If you're saying that this was only a Super Bowl caliber team because of the MVP you know, Carson Wentz, and then you take Carson Wentz out of it, I'm assuming, logically, you don't think this team can really do anything without Carson Wentz. That Carson Wentz was the crux of it. He was the north, yeah, west, I, east, and south of this team. I, and I just think they have more moving parts, better personnel than the, just listen, they're winning not the with Packers. Carson Wentz. They do. They're, they're not the Packers, no doubt. They're, they're not yes, a team that they is They have based a better roster. So, forget clearly, the, let's, let's remove clearly. the quarterback. You're right, Jenna. Yeah. Let's remove the quarterback. And let's just talk about the other 52 people on the yep. roster. Their roster matches up with anyone else in the NFC, and I'm willing to do a position by position. Right, take charts. Nick Foles out of it, yes. and then let's match up. See, some teams. okay, so that that so okay, let's do that. I'm fine with that because in their defense as a whole, I think in the NFC, I think the Vikings have a better defense. Mm -hmm. I think the Panthers have a better defense. I think they are about a push with the Saints, and I think the Seahawks. Probably not the Seahawks anymore, if I'm being fair. The Seahawks yes, obviously prior, absolutely. not anymore, and yes. I think they're about a push with the Rams. Okay. So, like, on defense, there's two teams that, in Vikings and Panthers, I think, of better defenses, and two teams that are about on par with them. And this is something we've seen. Now you go to their offense. Let's go to their offense. I like their running backs more than any team in the NFC except for the Rams and the Saints. I like their running backs more than the other teams except mm -hmm. for the Rams and Saints. That's fair. Their wide receivers, I said this when we were walking out of the studio yesterday, the Eagles are in a weird place with the wide receivers. They have three number two wide receivers. Which means their number three is better than most. Their number two is as good as most. And their number one is worse than Right? Like, Al Aguilar's a two to me. Torrey Smith's a two. Yeah, but look at the Rams, Saints, and the Vikings. They ain't got no number one that you're terrified of. I mean, they might not have better as a group, the Vikings. I like Adam Thielen. Yeah, well, right now? Yeah. Yeah, the last 15 minutes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and And so the, so Jenna, but then with those same teams, like, so, but then we do. So if we're acting like they're about even, we, when we go through it, guess what? I certainly like the Saints quarterback more now. I like the Rams quarterback more now. Yeah. I like you, this. They're going to have to be playing in Philadelphia, though. And they only got to do it for two games. If we were in week number three, I, I would agree with See, you. See, I agree with you where this is happening, that they do have the wins behind them, that, this, that, that they have the success of the last eight, nine games and wins behind them as well. And they only got to do it for a month. <laughs> Get to it. If you do it for a little more than a month, you're in the Super Bowl. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up, Big Baller Brand heads to the Baltics. We've been waiting a long time for that little sentence, but will it help them reach the NBA? So much LeVar Ball news.